Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Is it still morning? Good five minutes before afternoon. A countryman and women. Uh, first and foremost, it is very, very disturbing to hear what is happening at the former president's house, President Dr. Edgar Chabalungu, the sixth president of the Republic of Zambia. Mr. Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu enjoys immunity from prosecution. And uh, for police to go with a search warrant at his house looking for an Alion and uh, Alex Veiko believed to be stolen is an insult and an embarrassment to the government of the Republic of Zambia. If indeed President Edgar Lungu and his family are in possession of the so-called Ranix and the Alion vehicle, why not just police do a call out on the head of state or of the wife and ask them to come with the Alion and the Alex motor vehicle if indeed these motor vehicles exist in their possession? Come on, Zambia, let's stop embarrassing ourselves. Bamusamba. Bamusamba. We thought you could do better than Kajova. I am extremely disappointed. You can go and search the former president's house for an Arion and an Alex or Lex motor vehicle. 70 kwacha, 70,000 kwacha worth of a vehicle. I think, countrymen and women, this is no longer a fight against corruption. It is diverting attention from real issues that are affecting the country and trying to embarrass President Edgar Hungu. My dear brother, HH, you are setting a very bad precedence that will haunt you for many years to come. When President Hagainde Ichilema first said, told President Edgar Lungu at Kutumpoko, a lot of people protested, including some church mother bodies, and said, no, let's be civil and let's avoid insulting the former head of state and indeed other leaders in the fashion Againde Ichilema did when he came to celebrate the Youth Day on the Copper Belt. Despite the fact that people protested, people said this was not correct, President Againde Ichilema, because he feels he's above the law, he feels he's the Alpha and the Omega, he feels he has the right to insult any citizen, he repeated the same in Chilabombo again, where he called the former head of state against at Wokutumpa. Pompacity and the ego is the beginning of fall, downfall for many leaders in Africa. President Hagainde Ichilema is exhibiting the worst kind of pomp, pompacity and arrogance never seen before. Instead of him apologizing for calling his elder brother, his predecessor, 
sixth president of the Republic of Zambia, again, he goes to tell him at Kutumpoko and repeating it, Kutumpoko. Look, every Zambian has got a right to aspire for office. And President Edgar Lungu has not said he wants to stand as president. Why is it that HH is so scared? Always saying, Alelanda Talewele Lapu, Alelanda Talewele Lapu. What has the President Ed Galungu done to you, President HH? Stop it. You know, the people are watching. And Zambians are very clever, I can tell you. Don't get excited when you see the clouds. When you see people come to welcome you, people will come a sitting president, whether you are popular or unpopular. And everywhere you go, your party, the UPND, you ferry people and you think you are popular, insulting your elder brother, who's supposed to be a statesman, who ruled this country for seven years. You've only ruled this country yourself for less than two years. Now, put yourself in the shoes of President Ed Galungu. If you leave office and people start insulting you at Kutumpok, how would you feel? How would you feel? Please, let's treat one another fairly. Because political power is very temporal. And I can tell you, if you are not careful, my brother, <laughs> you regret ever being president. Because other people can come and do exactly what you are doing to your predecessor. And that is unfair. Respect your predecessor. How do you send a battalion, battalion of police officers to go and search for a Ranex and an iron surely from a former head of state? Everybody, even a common person, can own an iron and an Alex vehicle. You go to search the former head of state, embarrass him. All what they are doing is to try and embarrass the first, the former first family. Nothing else. Nothing else. And this is now personal because of the behavior of the president. Every time he's uh, addressing the country at any function. No. If it was the previous government, this time there could have been knives here. We used to attend those uh, functions. HH never used even to attend because he, he boycotted all the national events. You remember when I was in an alliance with them under NDC, I refused to follow their uh, uh, trend that they would never attend the public functions. I used to attend. Why wasn't I beaten? I never witnessed people harassing the opposition. So this narrative that President HH is creating, he wants people to hate the PF with a passion. Please stop it. When you go to address the, the, the Labor Day, talk about issues affecting the employees and how you are going to sort out those issues affecting the employees. We are sick and tired of every time. If it was the previous government, I was jailed. Uh, but this is what you are doing. This is what you are doing to your, to, 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 to your fellow leaders. You were talking about uh, uh, violence. This is exactly what your cadres are doing. How do you explain those people who invaded the Tayari's house? And yet you want to show the whole world. My dear brother, President H.H., I want to advise you. This power you have is temporal. Very temporal. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. I have said and I want to say it again. If these things of intimidation, uh, you know, political persecution used to happen in previous regimes, it should not continue. What was wrong under MMD should be wrong even today. What was wrong under PF should be wrong even today. That's leadership. 
But to keep on when you are addressing people as if you are you, you, you are earlier than, than thou, when in actual fact you have a bitterness, hatred, and you want to lie to the people of Zambia. No, me, eh, I'm, I'm a God-fearing person. That is why President Ed Garungu has not been eh, 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 harassed. What do you call this? To go and look for an alien, alien, and uh, you know, uh, what is this? Uh, Alex or Rex, the lowest of the lowest vehicles. This is embarrassing. All you want is the whole world to pick President, uh, uh, former president of Zambia has been searched by the law enforcement agencies. When you even know there is absolutely nothing that you are looking for, stop it. You are just embarrassing us. You are embarrassing Zambia. The problem with you, President Againde Ichilema, is that you've told the whole world you are fighting corruption. So you want these clips to go so that the IMF can see that HH is fighting corruption. The Americans can see that you are fighting corruption. If you want to search President Edgar Lungu, follow the law. And the law is very clear. Go and remove the immunity. The man has got immunity. And if you are looking for, for a vehicle, why not just call him and say, we've received information that you are holding on to these vehicles which are stolen. Can we establish who are the owners of the vehicle, bring these vehicles for verification? But to go and bring a battalion of police officers just to embarrass President Ed Galungu is unacceptable. Zambians, let us not create an enmity. Let us preach love. Leave President Edgar Lungu alone. Fiachilamo. And it shows wherever Muli. Hey, Kutumpoku. That's now personal. No wonder you are creating a, a storm out of a teacup. You go and you allow your people to buy uh, GX and VX motor vehicles because when vehicles are being bought for the government, the president is aware. There is no procurement that can be done without the authority of cabinet, without the authority of the ministerial committee that looks at the assets of the country. Now, because you want to create an impression that you are prudent in the uh, uh, management of resources, you say, no, all those who have bought vehicles, sell them. You can't do that. It's never done. Where were you when they were buying those vehicles? It is because people have protested, hey, they have a name that they will not buy VX and GX. Now you want to turn around and uh, uh, launder yourself. No, sell those vehicles. This idea of selling government property at the direction of the government is illegal. The government at the direction of the president is illegal. The president is not the alpha and omega of administration of the country. You are overusing your powers. Okay, fine. You want to sell the VX and the GX at what cost? Because they are second-hand vehicles. Who are going to buy them? It is like you have become an agent of Toyota. Because Toyota is finding it difficult to, to sell uh, vehicles because the economy of, 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 of the world, the economies of the world are not doing well. So you go and buy the vehicles from Toyota at an expensive price, then you want to sell them cheaply. Who's benefiting? It is Toyota. Because when you sell this vehicle, you are going to sell them at a loss. So the country would have lost some revenue. In the meantime, some people may even have gotten commission from the deal between uh, uh, where they bought the vehicles and themselves. And then you want to sell those vehicles. Don't look at people of Zambia as if they are stupid. These Zambians are very intelligent. They will watch you, watch you, and they will only act once. And when they will act once, <laughs> you'll be sorry, my brother. So leave your brother to enjoy his retirement. Leave your brother 
all this is becoming because once the president didn't attend the Kaunda celebration when he used to refuse these uh, 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 functions when he was in the opposition but president Edgar Mungu has been magnanimous he had attended Dr. Kaunda's uh, memorial day which no H H wouldn't have done in the opposition, and now because people are saying, "Mamona, we are not understanding," when the head of state is away, now because of that embarrassment, you want to divert the attention of the people by going to search President Edgar Lungu's residence. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Musamba, iwe iwe musamba, iwe musamba, iwe musamba. We stand a man who has been told These jobs are not done here. God bless Zambia. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.